It is a teacher's job to give their students the tools they need to succeed in life. But we know many teachers give so much more than that. Teachers like Sasha Oderman Carr at St. Paul Music Academy, who makes sure her students are ready to learn by first making sure they have the basic necessities, like a coat, shoes, and school supplies. She does it out of her own pocket, and it's what makes Miss Sasha an excellent educator. You have been awarded this week's Excellent Educator. Congratulations. For 19 years, Sasha Oderman Carr has taught English to students who sometimes come to her not knowing a word. They're just fascinating. It's like, it's kind of like a brain puzzle. She became fluent by majoring in Spanish in college, but she sympathizes with her students who are learning so much all at once. We have a lot of kids that are, um, a lot of kids who are very new to school and to Eng the English language and so their their parents can't really help them at home and so they just they're so brave they just get on the bus and come to school and learn everything in English and it's just they're amazing. Some of her students face even more challenges at home but Miss Sasha steps in to help. Usually I'll ask them privately like oh do you you know I noticed that your shoes are wearing out or you're you know you don't have you're not wearing a sweatshirt today and it's cold do you have one at home that you can wear and if they say no then I ask you know do you want me to get you one and usually they say yes. A teacher with a big heart that's making an even bigger difference in the lives of her students. I do it because I can and because I want to and I think that just if they are missing something that in you know a basic need it's gonna make it hard for them to focus on school and learning and nice isn't she awesome mm -hmm. yes she's awesome so throughout her 19 years as a teacher miss sasha has continued her relationships with her former students and their family she's gone to birthday celebrations i believe we have some pictures of this holidays baby showers over the years here she is with one of her uh, former students and her family she says it's great it's a great honor that they invite uh, her to be part of their lives still after That's they've busy left her class. Life. Yeah, so uh, what a great compliment too when your students ask you to you, you want to keep in touch. Keep in touch. I thought that was the nicest thing about the nomination that came in that talked about how invested she is in her students' mm -hmm. lives. That it's not just when they're in the classroom. Right. It's kind of a lifelong. You feel like they're part of yes. the family. Yeah. Well, that's interesting too. Making that connection so early and seeing it carry on to when they have their own kids. I mean, when I think of the teachers that I remember, it's you know, it's later in life for me. It's high school. Mm -hmm. It's college. Absolutely. It's professors to to go that early on and maintain that connection. This is a very trying period in these young kids' lives, though, mm -hmm. because they're learning that language for the yeah first time mm -hmm. and so maybe you create a stronger bond that way mm -hmm. well if you have an excellent educator we are taking nominations on our WCCO mornings Facebook page you can also email it to morning at WCCO.com